Welcome back to the Teaching Mathematics Mixtape Series with the originator, Dr. Christopher J. Child. This is track one of the new mixtape series. I am excited. I hope you all are excited. We're focused on what should teachers teach? What should teachers teach? A quick disclaimer, as you all know, I work with a lot of different entities. All statements and opinions are my own. The whole purpose of a mixtape is to make it short, sweet and to the point. These tracks should be very succinct. They should be very short. If you want something longer, let me know. That's a full PD. <laughs> but for the mixtapes, it's something to get you started, to give you like a springboard to get to the next step. Our goal for this mixtape track, making sense of what teachers should teach when schools reopen. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to, I want you all to get quiet for me. Just listen. This is a, this is the easiest mixtape track to make. What should you teach? Grade level content day one. Now you're trying to figure out what grade level content or what should I be teaching? Student achievement partners has released their 2020, 2021 priority instructional content in ELA literacy and mathematics. This document is fire. I am not this. Wait, let me do a disclaimer. Like the big time YouTubers. This is not a paid endorsement. All right. Got that out the way. This document tells everyone what should the pri priority content be? It is based on research and the progressions. Think about what the standards, everything is built upon a progression. We still want to maintain those progressions, even though we're prioritizing content. This document helps leverage the structure and emphasis of college and career readiness. Think about it. If we're trying to get students prepared for college and career, wouldn't it make sense that all students are getting the same experience as it relates to the standards? In addition, addressing unfinished learning in the context of grade level work. That is key. That's why you can start off with grade level material day one, because guess what? You intertwine the unfinished content. We do not, we do not need to remediate for the first six weeks, nine weeks, four weeks. Oh, you know, Chris, we got to do some, some stuff to get them back. In. No grade level content day one in a later track. I give you an example of what a classroom looks like. I want you to think about this for a moment. We're all educators. There are educators across the country getting ready to go back to school. With that being said, a fourth grader in California, whether they in Washington, whether in Utah, Florida, New York, no matter where a kid is, I'm just using fourth grade. I like fourth grade at the moment. One of my favorite grades ever. No matter where they are, they should get the same experience as it relates to the standards. I hear crickets. That's too much sense. We should be collaborating in times like this. I'm talking to people across the country. Everyone's like, you know, Chris, we're working on what, what are our focus standards or our priorities. Why is everybody recreating the wheel? This has been done. This is a great document. This is the K eight version. A, you know, a little, a little buzz has been in my ear. They're working on a high school version. There is no reason you should be prioritizing standards or identifying power standards. No, it has been done. We need to be focused on making sure every child receives a high quality learning experience. That's it. That's it. Stop doing all this priority. It's been done. We need some common ground with this common ground. Focus on what's going to matter. Are your teachers going to give students rich experiences? Your homework. This is a mixtape and you get homework on a mixtape. Because this is Dr. Christopher Day Childs, it's your boy. You've been with me, you've been rocking with me for a while. Some of you, this is your first time consuming my content. Welcome, probably should have told you welcome in the beginning, but hey, it's a mixtape, have fun with it. What I want you all to do for homework, I want you to take this document, look at your state standards and create a concordance. You're probably saying, Chris, that's recreating the wheel too. We're that's five minute work, 10 minutes max. But identifying standards, that's a, that's a lot of work. This is five, 10 minutes. Just create a concordance document between your state standards and the priority content and share that with others. Cause the same, guess what? State standards in your state, probably the neighboring district, neighbor, neighboring school do the same thing. Just share it. So one person create it and just share it freely, share it freely. But that is your homework. 
to identify the concordance. You should not be spending time. Chris, we're going to work together as a team and see what, you know, our standards are and see which ones make sense based upon last year. No, everybody start with grade level this year. And then what do we focus on? Priority content. And then in the document, it breaks down how to pull in the other standards. So it's not saying eliminate any standards. It's just a mindset and focus for us to be on the same page. Get out of this habit. You know, Chris, you know, we're in a different part of the world. Our kids need a different standards of the standards of the standards of the standards. You heard me say that before. Overarching, every kid needs the same standards experience. How they get that experience, it may differ. But overarching, the standards need to remain the same. Question of the day. So on these tracks, we got homework and we got a question of the day. Right now, the hot topic in the world, diversity and inclusion, access and equity. And we, everybody's calling out everybody, et cetera, et cetera. I'm calling out you watching this video. As you create your back to school plans, thinking about your planning and pacing guys, you still have to create planning and pacing guys. But as you have make these decisions, have these committee meetings, I want you to ask yourself and who's at the table, who is a part of your 2020, 2021 planning and pacing discussions and who is not. That is key. You cannot have the same groups of decision makers at the table and purposely excluding others from that table. Does your, do your decision makers represent the diversity of the students across the U.S.? Not in your district, not in your school, across the U.S. And when I say decision makers, stop looking at superintendents, the principals. I'm talking about just your grade level teams, your district teams, your curriculum writing committees, your planning and pacing committees, your textbook adoption committees. Change starts with you. We can't keep blaming everybody else. We got to look internally. That is my question of the day for you. It's kind of rhetorical in a sense, but who is a part of this planning process? At the levels you control. Don't say Chris, why our school board? No, no. At the levels you control, who is a part of that process and who is not? Unless all of your students are achieving at a high level, all students, regardless of subgroup, we all have room to do better. We, this can be the best year ever if we start with grade level content day one, all of your students will rock and roll this year. And if you don't think they're rock and roll, fill my inbox up and tell me all the reasons they can't. I'm gonna give you a million reasons why they can. This has been your boy, Dr. Christopher J. Child with track one, track one. Notice when I do the mixtape series of different vibe, I'm, the, I'm in my element. I got my little backdrop going. It's gonna fill up over the course of the track. Y'all gonna be like, Dr. Child doing it. Doing a little something, something. Doing a little something. So I appreciate you all tuning in. Feel free to ask questions. I'll respond as I can. My inbox has been full lately, but I'm going to do the best to respond. But this has been track one. What should you teach? Grade level content day one. Using this document, priority instructional content document. Use that document as your foundation, as your springboard. So every kid across the country will get a high quality mathematics experience for 2020, 2021. Catch you on the next track.